In this short tutorial video, we will explore how to dock and undock panels in Adobe Premiere Pro. Understanding how to customize the layout of your workspace can greatly improve your editing efficiency. For those with multiple monitor setups or with a wide or curved monitor, it can be immensely helpful to just drag and drop one of your most used panels to one side of your monitor so you don't have to go through the different panels in order for you to get to that panel every time. Now, undocking panels in Premiere Pro and turning them into a separate floating window is very easy. You just have to hover over the panel, right click on it and click on the undock panel. This will allow you to move the panel to a different location on your screen or even onto a secondary monitor if you do have one. But what happens when you want to dock the panel back or want to allocate its own space? If you right click on it, there is no option to dock the panel back. At one point in my editing life, this was driving me crazy as I just could not figure out how to dock the panels back. So I had to constantly go to the workspace and reset the workspace to the previously saved layout. So docking the panel is quite easy and I'll show you how. To dock a panel in Premiere Pro, simply click on and hold on the name of the panel, such as Effect, Audio Meter or any panel entirely. Then drag it to the desired location. When you see a blue drop-down zone appear, release the mouse button to dock the panel back. You can dock panels to the left, right or even the bottom of Adobe Premiere Pro interface. You can also create a new panel group by dragging panels on top of each other. You can also resize the panel by clicking and dragging the edges. After customizing the layout of your workspace, one of the things you must do immediately is to save it. You can save it as a new workspace by clicking on the workspace menu in the right corner of Adobe Premiere Pro interface and then selecting the save as new workspace or select save changes to the current workspace to save these changes and overwrite the current settings of the current workspace you are working on. This will allow you to quickly switch between different workspace and layout depending on the project at hand. Docking and undocking panels in Adobe Premiere Pro is simple yet a very powerful way to customize your editing workspace. By taking the time to arrange your panels in a way that makes sense for your workflow, you can greatly improve your efficiency and productivity. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.